A new signal found. Astronomers detect possible radio signal from an alien world and it opens new windows to who could be out there. Astronomers detected for the very first time a possible radio signal from a distant exoplanet with the researchers calling the discovery a novel way to examine alien worlds. Astronomers sweeping the skies with radio telescope arrays trace the radio burst to the northern constellation Butes. Now remember Butes and the Arecibo? Now, well, there was a uh, geoglyph saying that they came from Butes. And there were also, there was another um, uh, alien uh, communication saying that we are from Butes. Where is this Butes? Now, preliminary evidence shows that signal originates from the um, lonesome planet orbiting the binary star system of Tau Butes, and if confirmed, the discovery will mark the very first time a radio burst emitted by a planet far beyond the reaches of our solar system has been detected. Kindly support my Patreon channel because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. You'll find at least five videos that are sensitive or maybe centered on some platforms. They will be beneficial and informative for you. You'll find the link below in the description box. Thank you for your support. The groundbreaking discovery led by researchers from Cornell University in the US who presented their findings in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics Today, December 16. Postdoctorate researcher Jake D. Turner from Cornell said, we present one of the first hints of detecting an exoplanet in the radio realm. The signal is from the Tau Buta system, which contains a binary star and an exoplanet. We make the case for an emission by the planet itself. From the strength and polarization of the radio signal and the planet's magnetic field is compatible with theoretical predictions, he said. The radio signal was tracked back to this planet using the Low Frequency Array, or LOFAR for short, radio telescope in the Netherlands. The astronomers also observed additional radio emission candidates in the 55 Cancri system and Ypsilon Andromeda systems. Ray Jaya Wardana, postdoctoral advisor at Cornell University and Cornell Professor of Astronomy said, if confirmed through follow-up observations, this radio detection opens up a new window on exoplanets, giving us a novel way to examine alien worlds that are tens of light years away, he said. The Tau Buta system sits nearly 51 light years, or 299 trillion miles from our home planet. The system hosts a so-called hot Jupiter planet, which is a gas giant resembling our Jupiter that orbits its star much more closely. Unfortunately for hopeful ET enthusiasts, the discovery does not mean extraterrestrials will try to contact us. Instead, the radio burst sheds light on the hot Jupiter's unique magnetic field. And according to NASA, astronomical bodies with shifting magnetic fields can produce radio waves, but the ability to study a planet's magnetic field through these emissions could shed light on its potential habitability. The magnetic fields like uh, one on our Earth shelter planets from the harmful cosmic phenomena such as space radiation, cosmic radiation, and solar winds. Turner said, the magnetic field of Earth-like exoplanets may contribute to their possible habitability by shielding their own atmospheres from solar winds and cosmic rays and protecting the planet from atmospheric loss. The hunt for the, this radio burst began two years ago when the astronomer and his colleague examined radio emissions from our Jupiter, the researchers then sca scaled up the data to mimic potential signals from Jupiter-like worlds found up to 100 light years away. And then after examining nearly 100 hours of radio observations, the possible signal was detected in Tau Butis. Dr. Turner said, we learned from our own Jupiter what this kind of detection looks like. We went searching for it and we found it. 
But the researcher noted the signal is weak and there's still some uncertainty surrounding this, its origin. The astronomers are now making follow-up observations using multiple radio telescopes and Turner said, there remains some uncertainty that the detected radio signal is from the planet and the need for follow-up observation is critical, he says. So this is by Sebastian Kettley, Express UK.